Okay, so um, I should mention now that I don't write the ELE exam. I have I have no involvement in it. Um, it's nothing to do with me. Um, so all I'm doing is um, giving you a reading that I think is similar to what you might see in the ELE exam. Okay, so you know this is just my ideas about what you might the kind of text you might see. Okay, so we're going to look at the um, the five. We're going to look at the questions for text A. I think I chose seven questions all in all. One thing I'd like you to think about is that in the ELE, for each of the two texts, you're only going to get five questions. So I've given you seven here, but you know you're only going to get five. So that's just something for you to think about. Okay, so question number one: Why did the Congo Free State ask for permission? to claim import and transit duties. So let's look at the various part of this. Okay, ask, all right, we've got at the request, Congo Free State, we see them here. Okay, so the sentence before we need to look at. Internal navigation was free. If no import or transit duties could be levied. To levy means you, you, ask some, you have to pay somebody. Some payment must be made by you. Okay, so at one point this was free. You you couldn't get any money. But um, the Congo Free State at some point asked for this to be changed to this rule. Um, so why? Okay, so here at the request of why did they ask? Struggled with huge budgetary deficits. Okay, so this is the reason why. Okay. So this is your answer to the first question. All right. The 1919 convention of Saint-Germain-en-Laye caused what change in free trade? Okay, so this is a pretty specific piece of text, and there's a year here. So if you find that, it's, you're going to find the information in the text quite easily, and you're going to see straight away that you know this is uh, the right paragraph. Okay, we've got 1919 again there. Okay, so what change? All right. If you write this, you're wrong. Okay, and I'm going to tell you why. This new regulation maintained. Okay, what does maintain mean? It means keep the same. Don't change. Okay, so this new regulation maintained the essential provisions regarding free trade. And the question, let's look at the question here. This is what change? Okay, so we know that this stays the same. And this word here, but, is a big clue. So this stays the same, but, so this is going to be some kind of change. Think back to the question, the word change. It, so even if you don't know the word abolish, which means to get rid of some rule or something, um, you know that this must be different. If this is the same, the but here is helping you to realize that this is your answer. Okay, let's keep going. Question three. Other than the Belgian royal family, name one other entity whose monopoly of land restricted the development of free trade. Okay, so what words have we got here? We've got monopoly. Okay. Monopolization, the action of making a monopoly. Stretches of land. A stretch of land is just an area of land, really. Okay, so land here, land here. So we know that this is the right part of the text. Okay, so the Belgian royal family. All right, we've got the word Leopold here. And you need to have remembered from right at the start here, Leopold the second king of the Belgians. So hopefully you've remembered his name because here it doesn't actually say the royal family, but we've got Leopold himself. Okay, so why isn't Leopold the answer? Because the question says other than the Belgian royal family. So when you want when you have other than, it means you're looking for different examples. This is one example but we want one of the others. Okay, so monopoly, we've got that. Okay, restrict the development of trade. Impede is stop in some kind of way. 
and it has you know a reasonably similar meaning to restrict. So the answers we've got are Congo Free State, some private companies, or by Leopold himself. Now the king, of course, we can't use because it's other than the king. So you've actually got two different answers you can give here. Okay. An entity is any kind of thing, okay, so it can be the state itself or it can be a company. Both of these are examples of entities. Okay, moving on to question four. Give one example of a tariff policy that was motivated by a non-fiscal reason. All right, so we can see tariff changes and fiscal in the first sentence of this paragraph. Now, in paragraphs like this, you've got to be careful, okay? Okay, because we want a non-fiscal reason. And at the start of the paragraph, it's going to list fiscal reasons. It's only when you get to this point, nevertheless, in some instances, there were policies that were other than fiscal motives. Okay, so it's only at this point in the paragraph that you're going to find the answer to your question, a non-fiscal reason. All right? And this is the kind of question you're going to get in the ELE. You're going to have fiscal and then later on non-fiscal. So it's, it's focusing on this is really important here. Any information you give here, any sentence you choose in an answer is wrong because these are all fiscal reasons. Okay? Actually, once you get down here, you've got several answers, answers to choose from. Okay. Well, you've got two, I should say. Okay, this is one answer. If you write that whole sentence, it's okay. And if you write this, it's okay. Remember to be careful and read the whole paragraph. Okay, don't think, oh, right, fiscal and fiscal there, that's good. Okay, you need to be other than fiscal motives, all right? So non-fiscal, other than fiscal motives. Okay, let me close that up. Right, um, so uh, sometimes you're going to get open-ended question there. Give an example, and you just write it. Sometimes you're going to have to complete the sentence. It's really difficult to analyze Congolese trade before the early 1920s because. So, why? And, okay, we've got that here before the beginning of the 20s. So that's pretty similar to the question in this. Okay. Here, why? The reason comes at the start of this sentence. Okay, the statistics were almost non-existent. Nobody kept statistics. So that's your reason why. Okay, so don't be looking at this. Be careful to look at the whole paragraph because um, this, the, the reason why, okay, is here and... Okay, can you see? All right, let's keep going. Okay, this is another one where you have to fill the gap. Okay, so what have we got here? The Belgian Congo. Okay, Belgian Congo is here. Differed from other colonial countries. Compared to, so some kind of comparison, and we're seeing that this is different. Okay, mother country, so this is the, the country that is the head of the empire. So Belgium would be the head of the Belgian empire. France of the the French, their colon, colon, colonial areas. Okay, so how is it different? Okay, the Belgian Congo did not develop an exclusive trade link with link with Belgium. So this is the answer you need, and this is different, unlike the mother country relationship of France. Okay, so this is how it's different from this example. You're looking for how it's different. So we see the word differ. Okay. Finally, question number seven. All right. These decades are going to lead you straight to this part of the text. Okay, they're here and here. I mean, this. when you're looking at history, almost always it's going to be chronological. So, you know, at the start we were talking about the 1800s, then the early 1900s and then right at the end here look the 1960s to the 1980s so use the years to give you an idea of where you're going to find the text okay okay 
thanks to its prominent position in the world trade of some essential primary products. Okay, so an important role, and you need to know that prominent position has a similar meaning to this. Okay, so, okay, why did it? Thanks to, um, thanks to means due to the fact because of. Okay, so because of its prominent position, due to its prominent position, thanks to. Okay, so this is the answer you need to give. If you write that whole part of the sentence out, or even if you write all of this sentence, you're going to get you're going to get a graded as correct. Okay, so I hope that helped you understand what the correct answers were and why they were correct.